and welcome back to flexible games where we are showing you i am showing you progress on the vintage engineering mod you might recognize the machines in front of you as not the vintage engineering mod i assure you these are all now the vintage engineering mod so the uh the extruder is mine the the log splitter is mine there's an lv generator that is mine and the metal press that is mine i want to clarify really fast right at the beginning that quentin and i had a meeting and um because he is not really interested in uh, updating and maintaining the qp tech code base and so we had a meeting and he agreed uh, and gave me permission to use whatever I can, whether that's models, textures, whatever I can from the QP Tech mod, because he will no longer be updating that um, going forward in, uh, in for future versions. Um, vintage Engineering will take over the role that QP Tech has. And uh, down the road, once we have a more final set of machines and everything like that, we will work together to bring uh, bring users an upgrade path to uh, minimize the amount of work that they have to do to, if they have a world that's set up as QP Tech, to transition into vintage engineering as easy as possible, um, or to give people the option just to start over and uh, kind of explore my mod um, in a new, you know, with, with, familiar, with familiar things. So a few things. Uh, this will be available. This is an extremely, I can't emphasize this enough, an extremely early sort of look, a snapshot at the progress so far, right? So anybody who wants access going forward, um, the snapshot will be up on the mod DB and will not be updated until we have a more final tested version down the road if you want access to that version um you got to sign up to be a channel member or patron and be on my discord because that's where i post the weekly builds every friday i try to have a new build with new features and new things and if you want access to that i need to keep that circle small and 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 communicating you know together so if you find a bug or something like catastrophic, then you know you you can message me directly on Discord in the in the members only channel, and I need to keep that that circle small. So if you want to use the early version of it, which is the version I'm showing you right now, just know there are no recipes for for crafting the machines. The machines are in there. If you do a, a search for vintage, you can see. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Generator, log splitter, meta press, and extruder. The sawmill, while it's here, is doesn't do anything. And I believe it I believe if you place it, it uses the metal press um all the metal press stuff. So yeah. So you can't it it actually this thinks it's that because I don't have any of the code. Plus the the, the uh the 3D model, the shape is just bad. I have a, I have a saw blade. You probably saw it in there. I have a saw blade model in here, and I'd want to incorporate that somehow. But if you are good at 3D, if you're good at that, it's one of the reasons why QP Tech, uh, Quentin and I had a meeting because I had a great code base. I have a, a, a fantastic code base, but no 3D models. And 3D stuff is not my, you know, that's not my skill set. And um, so, yeah, he was like, yeah, go at it, have at it. Um, and I've implemented several features that um, that he didn't in his machines. So I've had to sort of edit these a little bit. Um, but as you can see, the metal press here, if I take the mold out, it disappears out of there. So you can actually see at a glance which mold is in there. And there's two different molds right now. There's a, there's a plate mold and a gear mold. Um, but you can see at a glance which mold is in there, as well as um, a animation that that plays. So when you are when you're when you're actively crafting something, 
there's an animation that plays and as soon as it's done the animation stops but as you can see my machine here gave you the plate but it also has a variable output so that's a hallmark of pretty much well not all of my machines but many of them are going to be very flexible in terms of what you can do with them and the recipes that you can do with them and so the log splitter as you can see um well split logs i mean obviously it is going to craft firewood but it's it's crafting there's the animation that plays um it plays once this one plays just once and, and is done um but as you can see you get a little bit of sticks um that's a random chance and then you get firewood as a better thing because it's a machine that makes it um and then the the, the extruder here uses a die you can see the front of this um gives you the die and if you want to change it you can change it up and the die cast is what is used to set the gauge of whatever it is that you're extruding so to make lv wire which is the wire that you have um the wire that you use to wire everything up um connected onto these little gold these little gold contacts here that's the uh that's the the change that I made um, is there's a specific place that you connect all these and the, the generator is no different. There's one right there. So all of that is set in JSON. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm tried to, I tried to explain that, you know, that was earlier on. Um, I'm going to be putting this little beginning of this video out as a clip, but I am live streaming all of this as well. Um, so all of these now work. Um, again, the the animations the animations work just fine. Um, I, I added an animation onto this one. Um, it only plays it once. I haven't quite got the timing out. It is basically a proof of concept. You can see how the power draws down because this this LV generator generates half the amount of power that all of these machines want, and so it actually draws. Um, it actually is only capable of 32 power per second and these are all 64 power per second so the lv generator is meant as a very very early game very early way of generating power and should be upgraded as soon as possible um, and there are definitely plans on where to go with this we're going to have i'm going to try to make a mechanical power iteration um, that is an upgrade from this so once you have a, a small subset of machines You'll be able to craft some more advanced things more efficiently um and uh yeah i want to have a a mechanical power system um and i saw a great inspiration that the create mod has one of the add-on mods for create in minecraft has a has a electrical power like turbine thing that works really good i definitely want to tr investigate doing that but you know i just this this uh this extruder here um this is a metal rod, so I can put a, um, I can put a, a copper ingot in there, and this will craft the um, the metal rod. So this is this doesn't have a secondary output, um, so this is uh, just a one to one. Um, it's more efficient, but it gives you four rods. And if you want wire, we're going to swap that out. So now you have. Um, now you have this one in, so you can see this This is now this one. I, I, it's a different material even. And you can also see that there's durability in the die cast, and that's an option with the recipe as well. But to get the LV wire, you put the rod in there. This has, a, this has an animation, as you can see. Um, uh, I have no idea how to animate the add-on. Like that is, that is I, I, I don't even, uh, the, 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 just the thought of that makes me shiver. Um, but yeah, now, now this is good to go. Um, and, uh, it looks like there's a bug. The, uh, animation doesn't stop. It's weird. That's, that's, that's a bug. Um, so yes, the, the preview version, the community preview will have three machines, these three machines and a generator and the wire and the, the wire relays. I have the other relays and wire in. This is part of a different mod um, that I'm going to be submitting to to get added. These are the HV 
right? This is the HV wire and HV relays. These all work. I tested all of the relays and all of the wire. So you can stretch the wire and it's fine. It just doesn't do anything right now, right? It, it actually made this a network ID. So this has a network ID of 51, as well as you can see this one over here. So all of the, all of the systems for the higher tier power are all ready to go. I just don't have any machines or generators to use that yet, nor do I have the transformer. The transformer is gonna be one of my next tasks to get done, to transform high level power to low level power. Um, but right now I'm, I'm, I was more concerned with getting all of this working and I do not know why that, that didn't stop. I'm not sure why that didn't stop, but that's just, that just keeps going and going and going. That bugs me that that is a bug. Um, that hopefully will be a fast fix. But anyway, the, the gist is, uh, QP tech Quentin, um, gave me permission to use the, as much as I possibly can. Um, and I, I took that, you know, as his word and I have kind of tweaked this a little bit to edit the textures. There are, there's definitely some efficiencies that we're going to do. Um, I have a, 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 a I have a pretty high standard when it comes to efficiency and I have programmed everything here to be very, very efficient. As you can see up on the top, it says sleeping, right? A machine that is idle, right? A machine that is idle, that is not crafting and is on is sleeping and it ticks much, much slower, right? So a, a machine that is on, this one is also sleeping. Again, this, the animation is bugged. But, um, cause I just got this in like 1 AM last night, a machine that is sleeping takes every two seconds. A machine that is on and crafting takes 10 times a second. So, you know, once every two seconds. And then if I put an ingredient in there, boom, it turns on crafts. Once it's once it sees it has nothing to craft, you can see the the tooltip at the top. It goes right back to sleep, and so a sleeping machine is it, it takes much much less, and um, it still can receive power as long as it's on. So every machine also you can turn off, right? Um, a machine that is turned off is invisible to the system. Like it does not it does not really tick at all. It doesn't it doesn't process anything nor does it receive or send power so you can m turn you can make this much more efficient as well and all of my machines are automatable with shoots so you can push them a shoot you can have a shoot go into here and a shoot coming like out of the bottom into a chest like one of those elbow shoots and you can put material in there and it will automatically output It'll output primary first, and then it'll output secondary when primary is empty, right? So it doesn't round robin. It's just output, 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 and then output, output, output. Um, and it does that across the board. If any, if any machine has more than one output, it always outputs primary first. Now, there are some advanced or, or more uh, flexible fluid and item movement that is planned. But again, this is an extremely early community sort of snapshot of what I'm doing and um, you know expect bugs expect odd behavior you know I was out here testing there's there's one bug that I know of and I can't I can't quite figure out why but when you when you stretch a line like that and you can stretch the line over to here but you cannot stretch a line over to here because it's too far right it's it's you cannot um, you, you, now you can't stretch the line, but the problem is, um, for some reason, you can see uh, it didn't actually take the things out of my hotbar, even though that's even though that slot should have resynced with the with the client. Um, the server did not take that out, so that's a bug um, because you get the wire back when you um, use the wire cutters on the node. You get the wires back. So you, you basically, it's a dupe, you, it's a dupe bug. You can double your wires. Um, that's obviously a bug that I'll be addressing. 
but um, I, I discovered that yesterday. It's just one thing after another. Um, but my my path to add machines is fairly fast now. I can basically copy and paste the majority of code from one machine to the next. And there's probably some efficiency there that I could have base classes. But the problem is uh, a, a machine that has a UI is very, very different than a machine that doesn't, right? So this block entity has a UI. This block entity does not. A relay, a toggle, which is a switch, um, and say a transformer are not going to have UIs. There's no reason to have UIs. You can see whatever information is by looking at it. Um, there's no need for a UI. The node zero has five cons. That's that's network debug information that I put out um, just so I can make sure that my electric network system um, is working as intended. But you can see this has five connections with ID 53. Um, and I only see four. One, two, three, four. Why does it say there's five connections? Oh, see, bugs like this just bother me. But anyway, this, I, I promised on Wednesday's stream that I would do a sneak preview. After our stream today, I am going to upload this version, maybe look to fix one or two bugs, um, and figure out why this says five connections. Uh, one, two, three, four. I see four connections. I do not know why this says five. So there's, there's something else going on there that uh, I'm going to have to debug which connections that's actually seeing. Um, but anyway, now you can see, oh, day, days, days go by so fast in this game, um, especially because I'm, this is my test world and it's August, so days are getting shorter. Um, but yeah, this, uh, you know, has has power and delivers power and these all use power and the networks as long as all the network IDs are the same which you can see they're all 53 they're all ticking on the same network and then the, the electric network actually takes four times a second it does not tick very fast um, so the the tick rate the power per second recipes these are all um, the recipes are all in the recipes directory under the venture engineering domain you can edit, add, change, and just get a look at how I'm building the recipe system. All of the recipes that these use, you know, um, are pretty self-explanatory with, with what I'm doing. So it should be pretty easy to learn um, everything, that I'm, everything that I'm implementing. And I have a lot of work and a lot of machines to add. So if you're sitting there watching this going, ooh, I, you know, I have an idea for a machine, I have an idea for a machine. It's like, okay, hold, hit the brakes. This is very early days. I am just now adding a lot of machines. It's gonna get, it's gonna get crazy. Um, and I'm fixing bugs as I find them along the way. But I have, I have plans for a lot of machines. This is by no means the end of what this mod is gonna be capable this mod is going to not only be capable of having a lot, a, a long chain, and I'm I'm hoping to get all the way into like nuclear power, like way down the road, um, bridge it with like crude oil power, um, refining the whole. The, I mean, I want to do all of that. Um, so, you know, if you if you're patient, it you know, it will happen. Um, but uh, I just wanted to put out a preview and let everybody know that lots of progress has been made. And thanks to Quentin at QP Tech, um, I am now able to kind of smash in um, machines. And I still, you know, there still needs to be machines that need to be worked on. This, this, sawmill, um, this sawmill is really sad. And, you know, I want to incorporate the saw blade somehow. Now I don't think I don't think I want to spend the time of of doing something like this. So I have this mold here that you can see appears, and the same thing um, for the the die, right? If I take this out, it disappears out of there. Um, so I'd like to do that with the sawmill to show the blade, but um, I don't know I don't know how to 
animate that like while it's cra I I would rather have a static saw blade from the model that I made and have that animated and then just have have the saw blade slot like I did here um but anyway um yeah the saw the saw this poor sawmill is is in dire need it doesn't look like it doesn't look like a um you know it doesn't look like a table saw I was hoping to make it look like a table saw or something but anyway yeah that is that is the the mod thus far I you know worked long and hard on the metal press and then boom 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 I'm I'm popping in the machines like crazy um so yeah I'm, I'm able to go really fast I just added this it took me um you know bug and all it took me about two hours to add this machine get everything you know I basically copied all the code from MetaPress, pasted it in here, went through it line by line, making sure it all, you know, was referencing the extruder and not the metal press, and bing bang boom, it, it actually worked. And I got that thing added, which took that thing took the longest. Getting that rotated and scaled and transitioned because uh if you put down another one of these, um facing a different way, because each block faces northeast, south, and west. And if I took this out and put it into here, you can see that it ro it's it's it rotates it based on the direction of the machine. So that that was some extra code, let me tell you. That was a lot of code. Oh my goodness. Can you check Discord? Run developers quick. Um I know it was kinda I, I know it's kinda last minute when I uh I, I know you didn't know I was gonna do it today, but um one of the things one of the things I've been frustrated with over the last two weeks since since I started folding in and incorporating a lot of QP text assets was I wasn't able to put out fresh screenshots, right? I got the log splitter working, I got the animation working, and I wasn't able to show a video or a screenshot of it because people would recognize it immediately as a QP tech machine. And they would like they'd be like well, what what is what is this? You're stealing his his stuff, right? And so I was like really frustrated over the last two weeks that I couldn't, as I was adding machines and as I was adding features, I couldn't actually tell anybody about it, right? The members only channel on my Discord for 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 channel members and patrons, they're the only ones that have been seeing updated screenshots. They they've been only the ones seeing like what the, what features I've been implementing. So the, the wider community at large has not seen any progress. And I'm like, I have to, like, I have to say something. I have to put it out there because it's like, I, it's just too frustrating. I'm making too much progress being able to add machines pretty fast now. And, you know, kind of butt my head up against this, this, this silence. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get out there and I gotta say something. So I am recording this video as well. And I will be, I will be um, processing and uploading it as a video and posting it on the mod DB or linking it on the mod DB as a video, as well as uploading this snapshot, the one I uploaded the QP tech um, uploaded to you. So you could look at it, um, Quentin, um, that will be, hopefully I'll fix this bug. This is bothering me that this doesn't stop. Um, but I will be uploading that to the mod DB as a extremely early version. Do not use this mod in its current state on mission critical servers. Don't do it. If you do do it and then you tell me, Hey, blah, 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 I crashed or whatever. I'm going to tell you, do not use this on mission critical servers. If you want to play around with it in a test world, if you want to just, if you want to just like work with it and just see how what it does and how it works that's great you know check out the recipes check that out experiment get ideas that's what I'm wanting to do I want to spark ideas and as I add machines you, you know I will be putting out screenshots and stuff of oh here's a new machine here's a new machine here's a new machine you know there's you know I have I have already several recipes in the game that aren't even loaded yet right so there's a lot of things to do um and yeah it is going to 
I'm, I'm hoping to kind of spark a, a new kind of revolution with the power system I have. I've already submitted my, my universal block entity interface to Tyrone as a pull request on the Vintage Story uh, survival code base. And I will be eventually submitting the Catanary mod once I have all of the bugs and the weirdness, because that, that's misreporting number of connections, which is frustrating. There's, there's only one, one, two, three, four connections on that, and it says five, and so I got to debug that. Um, so once I iron out, you know, a few more bugs off the Catanary mod, I'm going to be submitting that for base game as well, so everybody can use it, because I have, j I have more... Um, Catan or no. If I just do a wire, you can see wire relays, all of my wire relays, and all of the wire, right? Um L V, M V, H V, E V, all red, green, and communication. Those are all the wire types that are built into the catanary mod. And if you want to build a mod that's signal, I include those wires here. All you need to do is detect that in the event. Like I'm gonna have technical as, as the mod gets closer to release, I'm going to have technical videos. Once the API is set and, and ready to go, I'll do videos on how do you, you know, how do you add your own machine? It's really, it's going to be very, very simple, right? You're going to need, you're going to require my DLL, vintageengineering.dll, and then you're going to inherit your block, right? Your block will be inherited from electric block. Your block entity, if it has a GUI, is going to inherit from electric BE, um, and then you you will automatically have, you know, you'll be 90% of the way there. It's just a little bit of JSON after that to get it all to work, but it will plug into this system without without any without any further work. Right? It's a very very simple system to plug into. So once the mod is done and all the machines are kind of set. Um, then if pe people are like, Ooh, I want this machine or that machine, then, then they will be able to add that to the mod, um, all they want. Um, and then once the game is fully released or once the mod is fully released, um, I will, I will, t I'll make the GitHub repository public and allow people to submit issues, submit, you know, bug fixes, pull requests. You know, feature add-ons like it'll be more of a community thing. But I wanna, I wanna have tight control of the of the code base now, while everything is sort of in its infancy, and then go forward with a more of a community sort of bend to it. Um. Um. So anyway, the 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 system is is going and is working. Everything is um. You know everything is working the animations are working um you know and it's just you know it's everything is working and it's beautiful i just it's crazy it's eight it's nine months of work now we're on the ninth month of work um it's a lot of work but everything is working as intended except for that <sighs> um that bugs me um, and if you want to, you know, if you want to experiment, you have to use the give the give command. But um, you know, obviously, I've standardized. So when you're holding wire in your hand and you're looking at the wire, you get a little collision box, right? So you just right click that, and you're saying, "Oh, there it is." Um, and now this thing is wired up, and it should be getting some power. And now this one is broke. Why is my why is my thing breaking? Y'all, y'all broke, y'all broke my mod just by watching. Why are my, none of my, uh, none of my animations are stopping right now. Anyway, this ran out of fuel, which is why that is doing that. Um, so this starts, this starts generating power when it hits 100C, and then this should be getting a little bit of power right there because this does not produce this produces half the amount of power as a machine needs so you'd need more than one of these so none of the machines um have recipes right that is the balance um the balance of the game 
the recipes, the progression. That's the fun part. That comes the very last step. That's the last step is all of the progression and all of the cool things is the last step. And I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm not getting lost in the weeds on that because that is literally the last thing you do is making sure it all works. And I just can't believe this thing broke because literally I've tested it many, 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 many times and it's never broken on me. So I, bl I blame everybody. I blame you all. I blame you all for, for, for doing that, for breaking that machine. Um, a little bit of debugging. Like I said, there are bugs. Um, but you just have to use, you know, if you look at the wire, um, the wire relays, those are blocks. The actual wire is a block, and I do that for texture reasons. There's there's a reason behind that. Um, making them blocks allows you to uh, control a little bit more. Um, but the relays, obviously only LV. All the machines are LV. They're all set to LV. Um, and so only LV relays and wire will work with them. Um, you can put HV, MV wire, or relays and wires down, but you, they don't connect to anything right now, right? I don't have transformers in. Um, so, yeah, all of that stuff is good to go. I am going to try to fix those animation bugs. I do not know why that animation is still playing after it gets done. I'm sure it's just a single line of code. That's what it usually comes down to. But uh, anyway, that is it for the preview. I want to thank everybody for coming by and saying hi when you um it has been fantastic uh working with you and uh, getting access to all these these great machines and uh all this uh, has allowed me to jump start and get into the the getting the machines added a lot faster than i normally would have um you know i'd still be struggling trying to build you know something presentable um so yeah being able to just grab you know, I basically grab what machine you have. I add a little bit of, I add a little node on it myself, right? For the wire, I add that little node on it. Um, set up the JSON, you know, customize the JSON to, to meet my, to, to, to meet the needs of my mod. And then set up the, set up the objects behind the scenes. Like I, I don't use, I haven't used any of your code at all. Um, cause all of my objects are basically plug and play. You just, you drop them in, you copy the code, you, you know, obviously the, you have to, you have to customize it. So everything says extruder, but yeah, the code is very, very, uh, similar. Um, and you know, it's very easy to add, add machines for me at this point now that everything's working. Um, so yeah, this is. Again, the machines themselves, some of the some of the LV machines will probably stay the way that they are. 100%, like, they don't need to be more complicated than they already are. But because this mod is inspired by immersive engineering, um, I want to work on, I want to eventually get to multi-blocks. I, I want a big multi-block arc furnace, like a big multi-block um, HV arc furnace. Um, big refinery, a big distiller, like big machines, like multi-block machines. Um, and getting that up and running and working is going to be a ton of work. But essentially what those machines are is a single block with a single block entity with a whole bunch of blocks around it that are dummy blocks, but in a, in a really big shape, right? So the shape in the shape editor is giant, right? It's way bigger than a single block. All of the dummy blocks give you the collision for that, right? All the dummy blocks are round, just like a giant door. A giant door is one block in the game. All of the rest of the things are dummy blocks. They're, they're dummy blocks with collision that tie back to the principal, which is the, which is the block that controls it all. So the game already has support for that kind of thing I just need to learn it, figure it out, and and build it for this system. So when you place, right? When you place, like uh, in 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 my in my in my mind's eye, you if you want to craft the arc furnace, the first thing you craft is the arc furnace master block, right? You you actually craft a thing that dictates the machine you want, 
rather than immersive engineering, you building this weird structure and then the structure just figuring out what it is based on, I don't even know how that code works, but you place the, the, the sort of base block for the arc furnace. So I would, I would take this, let's say this was the arc furnace base. You'd plop that down. Now I have a, now not only do I have that in the ground, but I also have the directionality, right? Northeast, Southwest. And then that block will give you the ghosted blocks around. All of the blocks that you have to place in the multi-block, right? There'll be ghosted blocks using the new mini dimension system that the game that, that Tyrone has added. Um, and that will give you all the ghosted blocks that you then match and place. And then once it's done, because the master block is keeping track of all of those blocks placed, um, that thing, once it's done and it verifies, it swaps all those blocks out for the bigger final variant. And so all of the blocks that you just placed, right, they're all swapped for air, right? And, or not air, but basically the, the, the replacement block for the for the big one and then the the master block essentially replaces itself it's just the shape it's not the block entity just the shape swaps to the big machine so the big machine that's nice and modeled and animated or whatever takes its place and um that you know, and all the other blocks you placed all become dummy blocks with, you know, they could even have custom collision boxes to make to make the shape look right. Um, but anyway, that is my idea for multi-block, is, is using that new mini dimension system and building, you know, when you place the master block, that is your orientation, and then you build everything on that, and the master block just swaps its shape. It just exchanges its shape to... Um, to the big version. And then if you break it, right, then it just swaps everything back. It just reverses that process and swaps everything back. It's a lot of work and it's and it's more it's more making things pretty and fun than it is functional. And so I'm right now focused on functionality, not prettiness. And it's nice having the the QB Tech machines to give you give me a little bit of prettiness cuz that's what people are interested in. Um but yeah, right now um, I'm just in machine adding mode. So if there are any questions early days yet, early days after my stream today, which I'm, once I'm done here, I'm gonna pop into our multiplayer world and work on my house. Now that Quentin has updated the chisel tools, I've got the chisel tools updated on that server. Um, I'll be working on my house and, and learning sort of the chisel tools and what's available there. Um, because that's going to be a lifesaver. That, that, that mod is going to be a lifesaver. Um, would like to see consequences using the wrong voltage. Yes, there will be consequences. Um, there will be consequences. I'm st it's still early days yet. Um, but one idea I had, um, actually one of my patrons had this idea, is not only have ingredients and stuff in, in the UIs for all of this, right? But also have like a tab... And that's anything dealing with GUI is like, I would love to farm that off on somebody. Um, have a tab in here for like, you would have a tab for like recipe, and then you would have a tab for machine. And the machine tab would actually have a, a slot just like, just like this, or just like, um, just like this, right? You would have a slot, and that slot would be for the motor. The motor. And the motor, you could even make it so it appears on the machine somewhere. And this is like super like, this is like down the road. And, and somebody who wants to work on 3D, 3D stuff. Because I would need a machine, and this would be especially true for multi-blocks. A multi-block, like a big machine, you would be able to do this a lot better. Um, but having a motor slot, and at first, when you first enter the, when you first start the game, you would only have access to the LV motor, right? LV motor would go in there. And that would dictate how much power per second 
the machine is able to apply to a recipe, which is how, how you dictate how much time it takes to craft. The machine has a power per second, the recipe has a power per craft, easy math from there, and the motor would give you that power per second. And so you put an LV motor in, and then down the road, when you're capable of crafting, let's say an MV motor, you would put the MV motor in there, which would boost the amount of power per second that you're capable of using, as well as what type of connection it supports. The drawback to that is what happens if you put an LV motor in an MV connected machine. And that is where that idea comes from, um, is the consequence, Electro Bob, of putting, of miswiring it, of shorting that motor out, right? If you short the motor out, you, it's scrap at that point, it's scrap metal. You would have to recycle it, basically put it through a crusher, and it would may return metal bits back to you, but the motor itself would be scrapped because you miswired it and it shorted it out. That is one idea I had. Um, I took somebody's idea of the motor, adding the motor, and it just sort of like, there's a lot of things you can do with that sort of thing, as well as adding more adding more devices right you not just the motor but you could add a whole lot of different things that you could pick and choose in a machine um even going so far as to customizing a machine itself like have a machine that has just nothing but but empty slots and you just build the machine from depending on what you put in there now that would be an unholy mountain of code that would be months and months of work for doing that kind of stuff. So don't expect me to do that. <laughs> this is already nine months of work right here. So anyway, I want to thank you all. Um, hope you all stick around. Um, we are going to, we're going to, we're going to do some work here um, in my regular world. So I've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of transition to do um, the mod. The mod set I use for my test world is not even close to the mod set I use for my stream world. So I have different, I have swapped different directories for that um, because yeah, if I was trying to debug in this world with all of the mods that I have <laughs> for my stream world, it would take too long to boot the game up every time. So yeah, so let me um, switch over.